Hello everyone, this is the Blue Dragon Gamer, and we are returning to level 9, Frostbite Village, to wrap up a few things. First we need to get there, so let's activate the target to open the door. As you can see, there is a target on the other side too, in case we ever want to come back. Through the door, we see a spot to use the supercharge gadget. Let's go ahead and use it to break open the strong chest. We also have a strong door to break. Ahead, we see a light gem to collect, but before we do, let's break the strong door on the right. Behind it is another spot to use a supercharge gadget, as well as a couple of strong chests to break. Now let's go ahead and collect the light gem. Ahead of us, we see another strong door, so let's head over and use the supercharge gadget to break through. As you can see, we now made it back to Frostbite Village. Continuing to use the supercharge gadget, let's go ahead and break the other strong door as well. We're not going to head through just yet. Let's recover our health and go to Moneybags' shop. Ah, there you are, my favorite wallet. Using a teleport pass, teleport to Icy Camp in Frostbite Village. Ooh, that really is a good choice. Here is where we needed the wall kick ability, so let's start climbing up the one on the right. As you climb up, watch out for the falling icicles. At the top is a Nork enemy to barbecue. On the ledge, we see a target to activate. This raises the cannon. Now to go over and use it. Let's start with breaking the structure across from us and take out the seagull enemy circling us. Behind us, on the ledge, we see a crack in the wall. Charge into it to reveal a hidden cave. Inside, we see a dragon egg to collect, as well as a rock to smash to get some gems. There doesn't seem to be anything left in here, so let's head back. Now to climb up the one on the left. At the top is a Nork enemy to defeat. Now to head through the hidden cave that was blocked by the structure. Here we see an Eskimo enemy on the platform to barbecue. Across are some dark shards to destroy, but watch out for the giant snowballs. Through the opening is some gems to get, along with another rock to smash. Continuing around, we see a dark gem to destroy. This lowers some platforms that circle around the center. Let's start with getting on the first one. Now to jump over to the second.
Using the second one, we can get on the ledge and get the gems. Now to get on the third one. Using the third one, we can reach the light gem on the platform. Now to get back on the moving platform. As you can see, there is an Eskimo enemy on the high platform to defeat. Come on, Spyro, get up there. Ooh, that Eskimo enemy is a real jerk. It wouldn't even let us get up there. Well, if it thinks we're going to give up and continue on ahead, it might be right. No, it's not going to get away. Let's try this again. That's right, we're coming for you. There we go. Now we can continue on back. From here, let's go to where we got captured by the mammoth. As you can see, the mammoth has vanished without a trace. Ahead, we have a light gem to collect. We also see Hunter, who can take us back to level 10, Gloomy Glacier. Now, Spyro, you know only I, with my superior feline abilities, can get through the glacier. With that all done, let's head back to the shop pad and purchase another teleport pass. Let's also recover our health. Hey, Spyro, over here! Feel free to browse my fine wares, Spyro. And spin, spin, spin! Use it to teleport to Frosty Depot and Frostbite Village. <laughs> now we can head to where we broke the strong door. Here we have a spinning structure blocking the way. Wait for it to stop spinning to get past it. Now we must avoid some swinging logs. At the top are a couple of Eskimo enemies to defeat. Now to get past another spinning structure. Here we see a shop pad to activate. Hey, over here. Ahead of us is a dark gem to destroy. This uncovers a cannon we'll need to use. By the cannon is another dark shard as well as an Eskimo enemy to barbecue. By the shop pad, we see a place to use our wall kick ability. At the top is an Eskimo enemy to defeat.
Here we see a light gem door, which will need 95 light gems to open. Here we are given a task to collect 95 light gems. All we need to do is collect 95 light gems to open the door to a secret area. Now let's go ahead and use the cannon to destroy the structure and break the strong chest. While we're at it, let's also defeat the seagull enemy flying around. Across on the high ledge is a strong door to break as well. Ahead is an Eskimo enemy to take out, and next to it is a great spot to smash to get some gems. Now to get the gems from the strong chest we broke. Here we come to a hidden cave that was behind the structure we destroyed. As you go through, watch out for the falling icicles. Here is another rock to smash, and ahead we notice giant icicles falling from the ceiling. Use them to get across the water. To the right is a Norkan Eskimo enemy to defeat. That was close. Here we see a lock chest. Looks like we're going to need a lock pick. Just need to wait for the giant icicles to fall down. There we go. Across on the other side is a dark gem to destroy. This shatters the ice wall. This completes destroying all the dark gems for both level 9 Frostbite Village and level 11 Ice Citadel. Across the bridge, we are rushed by an Eskimo enemy. We'll need to destroy the igloo or they'll just keep respawning. Under the bridge is another locked chest. Use the thermals to get back up. Looks like we'll need two lock picks. Ahead are some spin poles to use, along with a couple of Nork enemies to take care of. At the top is a light gem to collect. Now to go back to the shop pad and get the two lock picks. Feel free to browse my fine wares, Spyro, and spend, spend, spend. <laughs> Now we can go open the lock chest. Let's start with the one on the right. Inside, we find a dragon egg. Now for the other one.
inside we find some gems. Now to head back. As you can see, we are still missing one dragon egg and one light gem, which we'll be coming back for once we have gotten the 95 light gems. Now to save our game. This is the end of part 4 of level 9, Frostbite Village.